Good morning YouTube. Today I want to talk about Pear Linux. A friend of mine on YouTube requested the install of Pear Linux on the cloned Mac, MacBook Air that I have. You know this one here. But you know in some way I'm not yeah, able to boot with the thing. I also tried to install Mac on it and several versions I tried but I did not succeed um, it did boot at uh, I at cost s3 fine but when it comes to the part where you must choose the language then it it hangs on the thing so I think that the video card in the thing the 3650 the GMA is not good enough also Linux Linux distributions are not booting they are stocking somewhere in the middle so I decided to use this thing you know as my Windows 8 Mac book <laughs> whatever so we're not gonna talk about this baby what we're gonna talk about is Pear Linux because Pear Linux it really improved and I have it running here on this machine and I was about to do the installation but I'm gonna hard turn her off so we can I can show you the procedure I have uh, this is a Dell 6320 the, no 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 this is the D630 here you can see it the latitude D630 this is a dual core machine with 2 gigahertz per processor so it's not a it's not a shitty laptop you know this is not not some crazy laptop it has Wi-Fi built in but Pear Linux cannot find the Wi-Fi I hope that after some updates we will be able to find the Wi-Fi card built in driver so we have a external CD-ROM player DVD player connected to the thing we downloaded the ISO file and we burned it with power ISO straight up with 8 speed to a CD or to a DVD a empty DVD the thing is here it's in at this moment and this is uh, free to do for everyone so you see the thing got a little bit crazy that's because of the Linux it was busy installing so um, this is legal to do you can just download uh, this OS from all the link that I will give you and you need a DVD from 4.3 gigabytes or what is it 4.7 gigabytes to burn it it's only one gigabyte so you know you could also do it on the USB stick but you know I I did I didn't couldn't find my USB sticks again as usual so um, we're gonna start up and what you must do you must find where to uh, press to get into the boot menu this is a boot menu on this machine it's the F12 most of the times when the machine starts up you see it somewhere here on top it comes real fast you must look real fast and up here you can choose we can choose out of CD but if you don't have this boot menu thing you know then you can also go into the bias and then hope that you can boot from uh, external CD USB CD-ROM external drive um, yeah this thing it has no CD-ROM player I got it like this it was from my school you know it was from the university so you know there's no like um, there's no drive in it so these were all network machines so what we're gonna do we selected um, the DVD and then we hit enter and then you will get this very fancy looking white hurt eyes uh, screen and what we're gonna do is a straight up install we're gonna we can boot the live system first I did that because I know that the live system works oh it's not it should not boot no please don't boot don't boot I want to show you something because we're not gonna boot the system we already know that this is fully compatible with with pair OS we already know that and in this case that we are try to boot and then we stop the process most of the times you must turn off the PC and turn off the DVD player you see that because Linux is taking this thing over it's, it's taking control over it then you first turn it on and then you turn on this beautiful laptop and you hit F12 
so you get in the build in the boot menu there we are and then we select CD-ROM and we wait and we will go down you see you can uh, start from the hard disk you can uh, X-Force, FaceApp, Boot Live, Bloody you can also start installer directly because I know and I already started the, uh, the, the live system I know that everything works we're gonna do an install so we choose for installer directly you will have to wait don't worry lots of things are happening on the background but uh, look at uh, the DVD player if you see that it's uh, busy it's active the light is going on off means you know it's busy on the background so you just need to to chill down get yourself some uh, coffee or whatever yeah coffee I want coffee so and there you go uh, this is the boot screen per OS nice eh? I like it because I, I, I looked at it before but I was not really happy about it but then a friend of mine on YouTube as I just said he was like why don't you try to install Pear OS you know so I tried it on the MacBook uh, the fake MacBook but it didn't want to start up nothing yo so I was a little bit sad about that so I was like yo let me get my Dell from the lid this is my my uh, guest uh, laptop when I have guests here at the house they use this laptop to go on the internet you know but I have no guests now at the house yo so you know not planning to get guests this coming days so I thought well let me kill the bitch you know and just install Pear OS I mean like I can always install Windows 7 again these are totally not important laptops to me because they are just here for testing and uh, yeah the testing that I do is with several operating systems this Dell by the way people it can also run this Dell can be a perfect Mecca well perfect it's never perfect yo I mean like hacking touch machines are cool you know I, I had one for three years or two years running static I started with 6.3 that was this machine here it's uh, now also uh, running Windows 8 but this machine was a fully working Mac this is the Acer, Acer e machine e720 this is a machine that I really use because um, yeah I traded this machine three years ago to my new gotten Samsung S2 when it was the the phone of the year then I got it from my provider and when I got it in my hand I was like yo this thing it's gonna fall out of my hand and I'm gonna lose a lot of money so I don't want it because I was coming from uh, the Nokia N95 so yeah you know so what it's doing even though we we hit it uh, uh, installer you know it did not install oh there we go the installer starts here so we here we continue and uh, for instance you had uh, windows on this thing or so don't worry here it's asking you it said has at least 6.1 well uh, we have 6.1 gigabyte available more than that it's plugged into a power source it's connected to the internet at this moment it's not connected to the internet we could connect it to the internet by choosing our LAN and uh, so I'm putting it real fast in so now it's gonna connect to the internet and then we can also install updates you see that now we just got another option on top here saying download updates while installing and install third-party software such as mp3 plug in you know so when you hit the mp3 it will play for you otherwise you won't have that plug in you know it's very important it's the codec it will get codecs third-party codecs you know and okay up here on top you can see um, some certain things here I hope you can read it a little bit I will read it for you install pair alongside pair 8 no replace pair OS with pair 
I didn't know I had pair on this thing. I thought I had Windows 7 on this baby. But it's all good. Replace pair with uh, pair. Install now. Because that's what we're doing. Up here you can see it already knows that I'm in Amsterdam. So I don't have to go and search for my country. We just hit continue. Okay, up here you can see uh, the keyboard layout. I don't know where you come from, but you must know your keyboard layout. To me, it's just English US. So my Dutch people, just go for English US and my English people from the United States as well. And Canada will just choose their own thing. Up here we're gonna call this uh, pair. Oops. Pair. And then username studio log me in automatically so we don't have to use a password to log in all the time it's really annoying because I'm not gonna use this thing to um, to do important things it's not like I'm gonna do banking with this thing or so this thing is just for testing here you will see that it will start copying files and because of the light maybe you cannot see it so good but here you can see it a little bit better I just zoomed in for you and it's copying files this is the complete installer uh, process that we're seeing until now and it's all happening through a USB and you really have the feeling that you're using a Mac this thing is uh, even also if you go to the settings everything looks like Mac I think this is the best makeover of Mac I just don't know how it runs so we will have to test that but uh, yeah I have the belief that you know it will run just fine I don't have no doubts about that so while I'm gonna get myself something to drink you should do the same and uh, I'll get back to you after this step And we are almost there. It went really fast, yo. It was like copying like crazy. Look at that CD ROM drive there. Look at that little light flashing. It's really handy to have a thing like this, eh, people. If you're like me and you're like playing with laptops and with, you know, this is a handy thing because sometimes you know especially if you want to do some Mac projects you know most of the times it's really hard to create a bootable Mac uh, OS X um, yeah boot CD then you can better use a thing like this you know make sure that it's dual layer that it can read dual layer um, DVDs because all the Mac Lion etc uh, DVDs they are all bigger than 4.7 gigabytes so you need double layer DVDs to, um, to do a thing like this of course not for Linux most Linux distributions are only 699 megabyte this one was one gigabyte so it was exactly one gigabyte so I was like hey that's nice let me try it out and uh, when I boot it up it was really beautiful here you can see it's detecting the hardware configuring the hardware I hope it will find the eTurtle uh, Wi-Fi card but probably not it's a Broadcom so I will have to go and find the driver or maybe that it will get the driver out of itself I'm not sure I don't know how this operating system works as you can see the background is exactly as the lion the mountain lion you see that the gray of Apple you will really have the feeling that you're working on an Apple when you're using this operating system. Well, let's uh, wait for this to finish because we can talk a whole lot and watching the system. I don't know if you think that is interesting. 
some people love to see the processes that are going on. Running the grub installer, so that means that we're coming to the end of the installer. I think that it's almost finished. But I'm not sure, I never did this before on this uh, with this uh, distribution. By the way, the music uh, you hear on the background that is music from my dream dub CD so don't fall asleep it's really relaxing as I told you this was the last process I was right because I saw the grub loader and now it says uh, in order to blah -de blah -de blah you must restart so we're gonna restart and we also gonna take out or shut off the DVD player as soon as the machine boots up we're gonna turn this off you cannot do it yet because it's still busy with quitting the system just wait for the screen to turn black to reboot <clears throat> and then just turn it off we're almost there you see and now you just turn it off so and now it will boot up from the hard drive so we will see if this all went successfully we see a lot of abacadabra on the screen and I'm not even sure if something is happening here See lots of codes, man. Driver, blah de blah. Can you read it? It just came up here and it's stuck here, so I'm gonna turn the. Uh, I'm gonna turn her off. And let's see what's gonna happen if we turn her on. Maybe she got a little bit confused because of the... So, there she should go. There you go! Yay! We got the error because... Uh, yeah. We turned the CD-ROM off. Something happened. Something weird. But this is a real boot time. There you go. The little wheel stops spinning. And we got another wheel here. That is the mouse wheel. There you go. And you can see the Mac icons. Look at that. The dock. And uh, <laughs> the pear instead of an apple. And up here the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is connected. So let's let's take a look around yo. Because this thing also has an app store. Eh? So what happens if we wait let me turn the screen a bit for you? What happens if we hit the apple, the little pear? So if we hit the pear, then you can see we also got the update here, 42 updates. Um yeah, install update. We just uh, hit install update and we take a look at the pair again here. Oh man, I hate my cam sometimes, you know. About this computer. We just wait. It's almost the same as Mecca. Eh? Almost the same. There you go. About this computer. 
memory, 2 gigabytes of RAM, Intel Core 2 Duo CPU, uh, T7250, can you read it? Uh, 2 gigahertz, 2 times, 2 processors, Intel 965 GM chipset or graphics, OS is 64 bit, and the disk is 80 gigabytes. Okay, so that is clear. So here on top you have the same little things as Mac and uh, you will be surprised to see that the Wi-Fi is also the same as the Mac here and uh, yeah we have the Wi-Fi stations of course so let's take a look at the dock up here you can see that uh, we also have an app store I think this is the let me see where the app store is launchpad clean my PC we also have this launchpad let's see if what happens if we hit the launchpad okay if we get into the launchpad we see this and peer software center this was what I was looking for and up here we can then uh, install several programs you know that will fit our desires and the things that we want to do um, yeah I don't uh, know this operating system yet so I cannot tell you if it's good or not good but I can tell you it looks damn good you know it looks really really outstanding so this is like really looking good um, this is the software center and up here you can see that like Ubuntu you can download many many software packages many stuff in all sorts of sections uh, universal access we see there we see uh, themes system sound video science engineering office internet graphics and these are all the sections eh? games fonts education uh, developer tools uh, books and uh, magazines and accessories so yeah this is really cool people this is not some stupid operating system this is something that you can try on your spare computer just to have the feeling that you also are like you know running some kind of Mac okay my system is up to date it says <coughs> don't know what happened with the 52 packages but I think it's all good we even have Firefox my favorite browser so let's start her up means that uh, we can now also add our plugins such as the net plugin uh, the net transport what was it we will install it in a second the plugin that will let us uh, download any video and any music that we hear while surfing browsing the net so you know that is really cool so let's see if we are able to do that up here we go to tools on top tools and then we go to add-ons and in add-ons we type um, add block just type add block and let's see what we get and we get add block plus and then you say install you see that this will help you against all these damn sites that come with all these plugins and banners but listen if you are on the internet and you do some banking business then up here sometimes you need to let the uh, banners pop up otherwise you cannot do your thing so up here you can also disable the banner for certain sites okay for the video downloading yeah we want to download videos all sorts of videos that we're watching we type net just type net and enter and see what's gonna happen and up here you see net video hunter that's the only thing you want no YouTube downloader or other nonsense this is what you need net video hunter okay so we need to restart the browser now and at this point now we have a we have a, a, a very powerful browser that will let us uh, it will let us do whatever we want to do okay it will let us download videos up here we go to uh, edit and then preferences yeah and we're gonna put our start page to 
our favorite site. My favorite site is google.com because you know that's the site of my boss yo so up here we see a little house on top there we hit it and then we should come to google.com and peer Linux friends should have understanding for that that we want Google because this is Dutch and we're not French so respect to all my French people there yo so let's see how YouTube is supported can we watch a YouTube video after installing this so uh, let's type channel 48 this is the way to find me on YouTube by the way if you want to find me real fast just type channel 48 one word like this not two words one word channel 48 and then search and then you see this user here this guy there this guy that guy there that's me yo. just hit that one and then you come to my site so up here we can now um, stop this video and we can go watch one of my videos to see if it works and you can see video works out of the box people maar laten we ook even kijken voor mijn Dutch people if uitzending gemist uitzend there you go uitzending gemist uitzending gemist that is a TV site for the Netherlands so let's see if uitzending gemist works out of the box you know because at this moment I'm having a lot of respect for this uh, for this operating system already there you go damn yo it just works you know what this is this is the moonlight codec this is the moonlight codec the, the silver light codec from Microsoft in Linux world they call it moonlight there was a time that Microsoft didn't want to give out the code anymore and the guys of uh, moonlight the guy that creates this codec you know he was really really pissed off and he didn't want to continue with work the works anymore but uh, then Microsoft many people complained about that you know and Microsoft gave them still the opportunity to work on it because Microsoft sometimes is mean you know to the guys of Linux it's like they don't want Linux to you know to improve because they are scared that you know people might go use Linux but I think the future will be like one Linux machine to do you know certain stuff you know uh, a Windows 8 machine you know to to do whatever you want to do and you know your other machine that you're also using so you know that is how the future will be um, people will have more than one machine so it's no it's not bad uh, that we have also several operating systems so we can you know get even smarter so let's look at um, let's look at uh, the yeah because you don't see anything that you can do here huh? so let's look at the settings we go to the system settings and you will see that the system settings are just like Mac you see that lovely yeah lovely 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 up here we can change the background and here you can type backgrounds you can go to backgrounds there's only one background as I see oh no there are more look wow also the modern uh, Apple background you see that there it is not that I'm really in love with it also it's nice on the phone but I don't want to look at this uh, I don't want to look at this I rather look at this oh yeah I like this oh yeah oh look at that man nature -da -da. let's take a trip over yonder do -do 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 I think it looks beautiful people beautiful yo peeps all I can say is <laughs> I'm really amazed you know because the other day I installed Fubuntu, or Fuduntu, Fuduntu, and Fuduntu. The guys stopped their project somewhere in June. They stopped, you know, with the whole project. So they made a last uh, build way back in June 2013. So no more updates, and you know, yeah, you don't know the reason why they stopped. So you cannot really use that thing 
and go do your banking stuff and your serious business because you don't know what might happen to you, you know, because the thing is not being supported anymore. Maybe there are back doors in it and people are just like, you know. But this Pair OS is brand new. And uh, yeah, all I can say, peeps, is compliments to the developers. And yeah, if you are smart, you go and download it from my link if you have a spare computer or some crappy windows computer you know not running too good not because of windows but because of all the crap on the internet you know that is installing all that nonsense on your pc that's why it's getting slow and nonsense like that but with linux you won't have that problem so you should really try this out okay I showed you the installing of Mint Linux, you liked that video, showed you the installing of, uh, what was it, um, several Linux versions, distributions, you know, I, I, I made videos about and uh, even Fedora was in the list and, and, and can't remember all these names, but one thing I know, Pear, I'm in love. I'm gonna go to Sticker Fritz tomorrow and I'm gonna let him make a pair um, sticker and that will come here at the back of this baby here right above the Dell thing here okay see the Dell right above the Dell thing <laughs> we're gonna put a nice pair sticker and this thing is gonna run pair OS yep but uh, I must test it and if it's good you will see it in the future and I will tell you much more about it, you know, if I can find the video screen capture program we will go into the system, I will show you how to install programs and how to do pimp the system, but I think you will also be able to do it so only thing you must do is download the version, you know, um, the ISO file, when you see the ISO file and it's like a strange file I think Windows has a built-in uh, image file burn burner just burn it to, as an image, you know, don't burn it as a data CD, burn it as an image. If you're not known, unknown how to do it, download Power ISO, but don't download the latest version of Power ISO. Download 4.7 or so, 4.6, you know, because the latest version has spyware. It's really sad, you know, Power ISO became a real sad company. They are putting spyware for the people. So, so blood clock set. They want people to go to Jeeves, to ask Jeeves. Who the heck is Jeeves, man? I don't know Jeeves. I don't want to be asking Jeeves that while I have Google. Come on, man. Let's, let's not be crappy up here, you know, or Yahoo toolbar. Come on, if I want Yahoo, I can set my site to Yahoo just like I just set my site to Google. It's a choice. We all have choices, you know, in life and we don't want to set up, be set up with nonsense and with brush and rubbish and, and, and nonsense that are taking over our computers and manipulating us to do things that we don't want to do. It's bad for your blood pressure, you know, you know, if you're really rich and you, you get pissed off on your operating system. You can sue uh, maybe the company because you get high blood pressure or maybe heart attack because you got so mad and you didn't know what to do and you know you got all crazy <laughs> and you got a heart attack. Maybe you can sue them, you know, but you cannot sue Linux. So, but Linux won't give you a heart attack, yo. It's more like these Windows things, you know with all these toolbars and nonsense on software makers that wants to set you up. We're still talking about Power ISO eh? and <laughs> there are also other uh, other little programs that we're using that are doing just the same so none of them are cool such as the AVG toolbar that comes oh my god you don't want to get it on your machine really but I have a video that's showing how you can get rid of AVG toolbar by the way, never use EVG, always use Komodo Internet Security. But about the Linux, because we're talking way about other things now, tripping away, it's because it's uh, 
I think uh, night, late night. This is a late night show, a eh? late night show with Puck. So um, yeah, no, you can download it, people. You can download it and uh, install it and test it out and let me know what you think of it. If you think this video was kind of useful, of course you must hit it a like because when I see many likes on my video, I get encouraged to do my work even better. And my work is like creating videos, you know. Nah, it's not my work. It's, it's I do that with, you know, as a hobby, hobby, hobby. And uh, but I do it with love. And you know, if you get likes, then you do it with more love. So, you know, encourage me with that. Thank you for watching. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about what I'm doing. I have uh, 570 plus videos, all sorts of videos. I'm singer, I'm a musician, I'm a. I do all sorts of things, so you must check that out. Check out my site and uh, feel free to uh, add me to Google Plus. And uh, of course, we will keep in touch if you want to tell me about the system or you have any questions about this. Thank you for watching once more. This was Puck from the Netherlands. And to all my people, USA, Canada, uh, China, Japan, uh, wherever you are, you know, my people come from all over the world. If I go to my statistics, uh, analytics, then I have like 222 pages with countries, you know, of people watching my videos. I know it's not a big deal, you know. I know there are other kinds of uh, video makers that have much more views, but you know, I was just le checking the analytics of uh, this last month and I had 103,000 views and it was good for uh, um, something like 40, I don't know how much minutes, but it was 167 days and one uh, and 20 hours you know so my videos has been watched 167 days and 20 hours <laughs> I didn't know that you know there were so many hours in a month you know so strange things happening on YouTube and it really makes me feel good so you know um, yeah try out this Linux distribution and feel like uh, you're running a Mac till my next video Bye-bye.